So I've had this idea cross my mind for years now, and I've always wanted to calculate how many times I have hit a drum individually. I've always thought it would be so cool if I had always played on an electronic kit that was keeping some sort of lifetime tally of every single time a pad was hit. How cool it would be to be able to see over years and years and years of practicing and playing and performing how many times I've actually hit a drum. Maybe this is not interesting to you, but I've had this idea come up many, many times and I've wanted to, to run the calculations. Now, obviously, it's, it is not even close to possible to calculate with any degree of specific accuracy but I've always wanted to at least do sort of like a you know back of the napkin kind of calculation and just see what kind of range I was in and I have done just that so I've got a spreadsheet set up and I've got some basic assumptions that I've made about my playing over the years and my hope is that I can not only give you the number that I came up with but um, also give you kind of a way to, to calculate your own lifetime uh, number of hits or lifetime number of times you've hit the drum um, if that's something that you're interested in. So the big disclaimer I need to make here is that my calculations are based on some really, really broad assumptions, and I am pretty sure that my margin of error is quite large. So you should take the answer that I got and any answer that you get with my calculations, you should take that with a very big grain of salt. Um, I, again, like I said, I was a little surprised at the number I got, and I would not be surprised if I was up to 50% off of what the true number is, which of course we can't actually know. So take the number with, uh, with a big grain of salt. And then I also wanted to um, just sort of lay the ground rules of how I'm actually thinking about this. So when I say every time I hit a drum, um, I'm talking about every time the stick hits the drum and leaves the drum. So a couple things, if I am hitting uh, a cymbal, that counts. I know I'm saying drum this whole time, but hitting cymbals counts. If I'm hitting two drums at the same time, that counts as two hits. If I'm hitting a flam, that counts as two hits. And if I'm hitting uh, really any two surfaces, if I hit bass drum and hi-hat at the same time, I'm counting that as two hits. Um, also, if I play a buzz roll, all of those individual hits, I am counting as individual notes because the stick is leaving the surface and then you know hitting the head again. So um, diddles, of course, anytime I diddle a note, that's two hits, and anytime I buzz a note, all of those individual notes um, should be counted. Now, there's no way, of course, that I can count, I can actually go in and count every single time I've played a buzz roll. So uh, again, I'm making some really, really broad assumptions here, and I think I'll better be able to explain that when we move over to the spreadsheet here. So let's uh, move over to the computer, and then I'll talk you a little bit more through my calculations, and then we'll look at that final number. All right, so here we are at the computer, and this is my second time filming this segment because I realized that I had made a major, major miscalculation that we are not going to talk about. But in any case, um, I just want to preempt any grief I might get on this spreadsheet because admittedly, this is not a great spreadsheet, but my intention is to have it be available in one form or another for you um, to make your own calculations with. And if you can make a prettier version or a more functional version, which shouldn't be that difficult, um, I'd love for you to share it with everyone and I can update the description and put a pinned comment so that it'll be available to all of us. So let me just kind of walk you through what I've got here. So the first column, You'll see over here is uh, the number of years I've been playing. That was not very difficult to figure out. Uh, I don't know exactly how long I've been playing, but it's been about 14 years. And then this right here, this is the biggest assumption that I had to make, which was how much I was practicing or how much I was playing the drums per day. And what I landed on was one hour a day. And I'm actually not really sure if this is, um, if this, uh, is an over or an under estimation because certainly I practice, uh, I, I often practice more than an hour, but as we all know, practice is not always hitting the drum. So um, how much in a two hour practice session are you actually hitting the drums? That's, that's kind of the question here. Um, also, I assumed that I practiced every single day of the year. So 365 days a year, um, which I practice almost every day, but there are definitely times when I'm sick or on vacation or whatever where I don't practice. But on the other end, there are plenty of gigs I've had and plenty of days I've had where I've practiced and then played a show, and I have legitimately been hitting the drums for three to four hours. So 
I'm kind of just hoping that one hour is a, a reasonable estimation, but uh, that's that's the first potential issue there. So. Those are my assumptions, 365 days a year, one hour a day. And then what I did was I broke my playing time into three categories, uh, which is often what I do when I practice. Uh, that would be a warm up, practicing music, and then um, what I'm calling like personal practice, which is just exercises, working on independence, world grooves, um, that sort of thing. Um, just anything that I'm trying to develop and get better at that isn't strictly music. So. Um, what I've done here is for the warm-up time, oh, by the way, you might be noticing, you might be annoyed that certain numbers are omitted here, and that is intentional, that's for dramatic effect, but don't worry, we're going to get to these subtotals, and we're going to get to, to my total here in a second. Um, so for my warm-up time, I estimated that I would warm up for five minutes each for the first few years, and then that that would increase to ten minutes. Uh, again. These are really rough hewn calculations I'm making, but just you know, bear with me. Um, and then my little calculation I've got going on over here, I needed to, to remind myself, is um, the BPM, the amount of time, and then what I was practicing. So you can see over here, my calculation is, uh, I'm just estimating that I was playing, let's say roughly 85 BPM, that I was playing, f this five here is for five minutes, and then, um, the four is a reference to 16th notes. So if I'm playing at 85 beats per minute and I'm playing for five minutes and every beat I'm playing four notes because I'm playing 16th notes, that ends up being here, 1700. And then I increase that number, that tempo, because I hopefully on average get faster over time. Uh, my warm ups are getting faster and faster. Um, and then I top, uh, I cap out my speed at 160, not because I never play faster than 160, but because some of my warm-ups are, are not all speed based, so I'll play a lot slower than 160, and then some I'm playing much faster than, than 160. So anyways, um, so for this column here, for just my warm-up time, so per day we've got 76,600 hits, and that's one day for 14 years. Uh, so over the 14 years, 76,000 times. Uh, and then I add in 365 days a year. This is just multiplied by 365. And we've got 27, almost 28 million hits just in warmups over the course of 14 years. Now, if any of these calculations here, like I said, I. I made a major error earlier that I had to reshoot this for. If you catch any other major errors, please let me know. Um, I won't be offended, but uh, you know, just be gentle. So anyways, almost 28 million hits just in uh, warm-ups alone. So um, moving over to how I was calculating practicing music, um, my practice time I actually had go down after the first few years because I feel like the first few years I was playing drums I was more focused on songs specifically less on exercises so that actually goes down after the first few years um, but over here I am here calculating I'm using the amount of time that I practiced in minutes then multiplying that by 60 to get seconds so it's how many seconds I practiced music and then this number here represents roughly how many notes I'm playing per second and this number six is uh, roughly based off of how many notes would be in like a basic rock groove if I'm playing at around 120 BPM and this number that number there increases I have that increase over time because on average I probably end up playing a little bit faster and playing you know more notes over time um, and then in addition to that I've also added uh, what I'm calling the complexity factor, which is the idea that the songs that I'm playing on average get more complex over time and that I'm probably playing a relatively higher density of notes. So that's uh, just like a 10% increase until I hit two times um, in this year and then, uh, and then it flattens off. So for um, one practice session every day for the entire year, I'll just reveal both of these at the same time here. So over the 14 years, we're looking at almost 95 million hits. Wow. Okay. I'll just I'll just admit here that my calculation I had made earlier, I was grossly undershooting, I believe, and um, 
this is a lot more. <laughs> this is a lot more than what I calculated before. I was kind of, I was kind of concerned before. Uh, anyways, okay, moving right along to the personal practice thing. What I've got here is similar sort of calculation as before, and this is sort of the opposite of what I have in my um, practicing or in my practicing songs. That my personal practice time I increase very slightly after the first few years, and then my little calculation here is once again the amount of time used to practice. Multiply that by 60 to go from minutes to seconds, and then I'm roughly estimating with this number here how many notes I'm playing per second, um, and that actually does not increase over time. 10 is, um, it, it may be high, but, uh, but I don't think it necessarily is. And uh, what I do furthermore is I add in what I'm calling the diddle slash buzz factor. And that is just accounting for the fact that there are diddles and buzz strokes that are more present, uh, especially in my later playing. And currently, if I'm just improvising or whatever I'm playing, um, I'm very frequently adding in roughs or drags or buzzes or diddles. So um, I've got these modifiers here that just add add a few more notes to try and account for that. Uh, I've got totals here for each um, for uh, for that, and then um, then for each year, and down here. Yeah. So let me reveal both of these. Okay, so that would be almost 150 million hits, 150 million times hitting the drums uh, per year. So let's finally move over to the total. So if you're not a savant and you haven't already calculated this all in your head, you can see that my total is now 266,231,000, ignore the decimal place there, 231,000 hits. So uh, that's a lot. And that is actually, I don't know what I would have estimated uh, initially. I'll just, I'll just admit that my initial calculation was less than a million. And I was very confused and a little bit uh, disappointed. I thought that that couldn't be possible. And um, I, I think I have it more right now. And again, just want to reiterate that of course, there are these vast, vast assumptions that I'm making here. And um, any advice that you guys have to make this more accurate, or if you want to manipulate this spreadsheet on your own to make something that seems like it might be more accurate or easier for anyone to find their own totals, um, that would be great. But uh, yeah, what do you think? Does that seem like a lot, like not enough? What do you think your total would be at? Um, if you followed along this far, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was interesting. And uh, I'll see you next time.